Okay, so in this video, we're going to see how we can add delete functionality to our CMS. Okay, so we want to be able to delete pages, right? So first thing we need to do is let's go to our list of pages page. Um, so in this page here, where we are listing um, all the pages, let's add a delete link to um, each page. Okay, so we're going to duplicate the edit link. I'm just going to change the text to delete. Then next, let's um, just change the ID. I'm sorry, the href. Instead of to edit, we're going to say delete. Um, dot PHP. So let's um, modify this a bit so that it's proper, even though it works. But um, let's link to the actual pages. So now we're just passing in the ID to the delete.php page, and instead of button primary, it's going to be um, button danger. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create that page, uh, the delete.php page. So let's um, do that delete.php. And in there, let's just do the requires just like we did on um, edits pages here. So we're gonna require the config and the functions.php file. Since we are not gonna show anything on the delete page, we do not need to require the header and footer. Just open our normal PHP tag and then let's get the ID dollar underscore um, get. Since we're passing in the ID um, using the get parameter in the in the link on the um, pages list so let's say if delete post and then we pass in the ID here that is if the post was deleted let's relocate back to the list of pages we're gonna say location and then let's say forward slash pages forward slash index.php else let's just say header location and then we're going to say forward slash pages and then we're going to say error equal to couldn't delete page okay so let's go ahead and implement this delete um, post function now so inside the functions.php at the bottom let's say function delete post and then let's accept the id next we're just going to get pdo equal to db get connection okay next let's create our sql by saying uh, delete from pages where id equals to colon id next we're just going to do our prepare so let's say statement equals to pdo prepare and then let's just pass in sql so it's going to prepare our SQL statement. Next, let's say deleted. That is where the statement was executed properly. Let's go to statement, execute. And then we pass it an array of parameters, okay? So let's do colon ID, and the value will be ID. So let's just return deleted. Okay? So let's head over to um, pages here and then we're just gonna delete one page so as you can see we have a new page here but when, if it's deleted properly it's not gonna show up on this list so i click on delete and it's gone from the database let's check there so a new page used to be there but now when i refresh we will have a new page so let's delete page three as you can see page three was there in the database but now when i refresh it won't be there anymore okay so um, that's it for this video, um, wherein we added some delete functionality for our um, simple CMS um, system. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.